I thought some of you all might like seeing the process I go through to get uh, one of these videos up on Facebook. Um, I just use a regular PC, Windows 10. Um, nothing's probably up to date, really. Let me turn the volume up here. Uh, I don't intend for you to get a good visual here, so so that uh, you'll have to try to listen to my screen reader to follow along. Volume up a little. I'll turn the voice down a little bit. Slower, slower, slower. I'll turn it up a little bit more. Uh, so what I do <coughs> is record with my little GoPro camera and then I just drop the uh, low resolution files onto my computer. Um, they're a .lrv extension. So then I, um, I have a little script that I run that changes the names of all these uh, LRV files to a naming convention that I like. It's easier to use. And you'll notice it also, you know, it changes the extension to MP4. So the computer will know, you know, what to do with it. Then I'll listen to it, make sure that it, it wasn't one of my um, goofed up videos. <laughs> I'll open the file uh, into my default media player. It's Windows Media Player. I'll give it a listen. And if it's going good, I'll watch for the end so that I can cut out the command that I use to tell my camera to stop recording. Okay, that's what we want to cut. So I'll make a note of the time. So I've typed the name of the batch file in the command line and entered the name of the video. And the start time. For the section I want to keep, we're starting at the beginning Space eight, three. and the end time. 83, 83. And I just hit enter. enter. With zero, zero, one, it's that fast. I'll flip over. And uh, copy or cut this new file and put it into a oh, mix folder here. And then I'll rename it manually. This was the vid001. I'll put A. Enter. 
and eventually I'll have about four of these little clips in here and then I'll use this next little batch file. Now with all the clips in uh, the folder, I can um, run this batch file which I've, I've, is dropped in the folder with the clips. And it just uh, stitches everything together there real fast. It creates this output file. And that is the video that I'm going to post. So I'll rename it and then uh, open up Facebook. And that's the part I'm sure you guys are interested in. So let's start uploading uh, this thing to Facebook. Um, I got my Google Chrome here. Um, I know there's several form fields on the page, so I don't even have to look at this Facebook page. Don't you wish you didn't have to? I just hit E. Search edit combo. Takes me to the first edit box. What apostrophe yes on your mind, comma, Travis question, edit. Hit E again, takes me to the second box. I'll space bar to interact. Space, what apostrophe yes on your mind, comma. I'll tab. Tab, show background options, but tab, insert an emoji button, tab, add photo or video button to activate, press space bar, period. Pretty simple, right? Space, open dialog, file name, colon, edit combo, to set the value, use the arrow keys or type the value. I'll shift tab up into this. Shift tab, explorer pane, folder layout pane, shell folder view, items view. Pane, explore pane where all the files are listed. With dash, New Year's 2. MP4. New Year's 2. Enter, add photo or video button to activate press space bar period. Say something about this video. Dot, 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 edit, type of text period. Progress bar read only. 5.1942691802. Space. So now, I'll say something about it. Hope you guys uh, found that insightful. Space. Say something. Progress bar read only. Stories are.